like a shining light that is titled depicts a re of Okwe Kingdom. The demise of late Okakuro Charles Ufoma Obule has left a bitter pill in the mouth of many and a vacuum that cannot be filled in Okwe Kingdom, Urobo Nation, Delta State and Nigeria at large. And so thousands flooded Sablet Town to be the final farewell to a man that has been described as an Iroko, a man mountain and a custodian of Okwe and Urobo heritage whose indelible mark has been felt despite departing Mother Earth at the age of 65. Dignitaries were aplenty with Delta State Governor, the Right Honorable Sheriff Oborowori, leading guests as were other top names in the political, social and traditional institutions all coming to pay their last respects. The ceremony kicked off at St. Patrick's Catholic Church with a funeral mass in honor of Shifobule before his body was laid to rest at his country home in Ugbayi, Saple Town. A lavish reception then followed as more guests came to the scene to celebrate the life of a one true hero of Delta State whose record of philanthropy has been well documented. Leading tribal's Delta State Governor, Right Honorable Sheriff Oboriwori, said that Chief Obule lived an exemplary life and that his legacy will tarry for ages before urging his family to stay strong as their father and brother has been called to heaven. Some people get to 70 years, 90 years. What are the things they will remember for? But one good thing I will say about the people is a home boy. He has done things that will be remembered for. He's a great man. Some people will have money, they will be proud. Obule is not a proud man. He has been called to heaven. But he has done things that he will be for. To the family. Our mama, Mrs. Obule, on behalf of the state, we commiserate with you over the loss of your husband. Our prayer is for God to grant you and your children and the entire Holy Family the fortitude to bear the name of loss. He's a man of all positive dimension. He's a man who has affected every person in Urobo, Terra State and Nigeria positively. He's a friend indeed. And to say we miss him is saying the least. He's a friend from Shaidu. And I know full well that a lot of persons miss him so dearly. But death is a necessary end. It will come when it will come. It's the only thing that is sure of living things. I've been far away. Chief Barrister Chansu for Mahabole is a prominent of my son, a prominent Robo son. It travelized Nigerian. His death is a shock to us. It's a great loss to the Robo nation. Uh, it's unfortunate, but just as the scripture will say, precious in the sight of the Lord and the death of the saints. Uh, on behalf of the Urubu Nation, we want to express our sincere and deepest condolences to the family, to Delta State Government. And uh, we pray that the soul will find eternal rest in the bosom of the Lord. Uh, well, the, my message to, from the Jireh Kingdom to the family uh, is that the family should emulate uh, the legacy. They should continue with the legacy that Chief Charles Obuli left behind. He was a very, very fine gentleman and uh, he was so good to everybody, popularly known in Nigeria, not only in Delta State. And uh, 
special um, condolence message from the His Royal Majesty, the OVA of Igere Kingdom. Uh, because uh, Obule was one of our chiefs. He took chieftaincy title in Igere Kingdom. So our presence here is not just for uh, coming, for, for the sake of coming, but kind of to, to um, uh, felicitate with the family for the life well spared by one of our chiefs. The message is that he lived a very impactful life. He was a humanitarian. He was a Rotarian that gave to many and he impacted lives. Um, so what I'm saying is that he didn't just pass through the earth. He impacted a lot of lives within Saple, Delta State, Nigeria as a whole. Everyone, including me, will miss him. He was a major, he was a donor to the Rotary Foundation. Um, during my year as president, he gave some good money to help people all over the world. We're going to miss him and the Lord will grant us all, not only his immediate family, the fortitude to grant this irreparable loss to the world, to the world I mean. Uh, well, Obule was indeed a very big shoulder upon which both family, friends and close associates relied on. It's a big loss, no doubt, but first time is the best. I want to encourage the family to maintain the legacy of peace that he has left behind because he's one man who loved peace so much. It's one man who is a great mobilizer of the people. I pray the children, the wife and family members should try to step into that same shoe so that his legacies will not be lost and forgotten. Thank you. Well, well first of all, we give thanks to God Almighty. Our uh, death is a something that everybody holds. But the death of Shiv Shans, Ufoma Obule, I was so very painful to we, especially we the Okwofu people, the Oswe people, the World Level people. We have lost a great man that we know tears cannot bring him, money cannot bring him. God is the one who was, is the owner of everything. So uh, we have come to console with the family. And we thank God we have laid him to rest. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, Obule, uh, if we want to describe Obule, it will take us like 10 days to be able to come out uh, with the phenomenon of his nation. Uh, we've actually lost a real gem. It is unfortunate that it had to come at this time, at this prime age. But we we'll give God the glory because you lived a life worthy of emulation. He lived a life at 65 years that somebody of 200 years cannot live. He was a great man. He was a phenomenon. Uh, it's very painful. We lost him. We didn't expect him to die so early because he has been a pillar to the party both at the NGO level and the state level, even at the national level. But it has happened, we cannot question God. Uh, I have to tell the family to look unto God. It has happened, it has happened. There's a time to burn, a time to die. It is God that allowed it to happen. So at this junction, uh, I want to also commissionary with the family to take it the way it is. I'm uh, Chief uh, Dr. Anthony Agogoumi, your mommy go of Great Open Kingdom. Chief Eri of Great Open Kingdom. How to express or how to say who he is. We don't even know what to say. We believe he's an extraordinary man. Why I say extraordinary? I don't know whether we have his equal. Presently, I don't think we have his equal. His generosity is beyond imagination. His social life is beyond Im imagination. We call him the emperor. We call him the icon. We don't even know what to qualify. We just know definitely he's just human. A human from a different planet. That's what we will say. My name is Akbarero Henry Akbos, and this is Rero TV. Thank you for watching.